everybody, Mike Iaconelli here out in the shop and I've got a really, really special one for you today. I've got a rigging method that is a cross, it's a hybrid between a Nico rig and a chicken rig. And this one's called the eel rig, the eel rig. Um, this is a cool one, man. This is a cool one for a lot of reasons. Uh, for one, if you look at it, it lets you change weights on the fly really quickly without damaging the bait itself. That's one plus to this eel rig. Second one is the way it moves in the water. It's going to have an initial drop like a Nico rig, but once it hits the bottom and settles, that weight, that free flowing weight, drop shot style weight, is going to sort of plow the bottom. It's going to hit all the stuff, the gravel, the rocks, the cover, and this bait is going to sort of snake behind it and move real nice behind it, almost like an eel. And then the last benefit of this eel rig, and we're going to look at all the components here in a second, is the placement of the hook. And look how far back in the bait that hook sits. And for short striking fish, for fish that are nipping at the bait, that little stinger style hook in the back will catch a lot of those short striking fish. Um, it's called the eel rig. And here's the other thing that's great about this eel rig. It's super easy to make. Super easy to put together out in the shop, on the water. Uh, very minimal components. Um, and it's real easy to put together. So here it goes. We're going to start with really a key component to this rig, which is the swivel. And this is a, a, a ball bearing uh, snap style swivel. So it's got a, a swivel and a clip together. Now the nice thing is you can buy these pre-assembled. You can buy these uh, ball bearing snap swivels pre-assembled. Or you can make them like I do. It's real easy to make. I, I love the, the VMC. This is a crankbait snap or a cross lock style snap. Um, it's a little wider than a normal swivel. So it's a lot easier to work with on the water, and I like that. And I'm just using a, a standard uh, crane or barrel style swivel. Um, I get them in a few different sizes. I think this is like a number eight. Uh, but I like them in black. I like to keep the snap and the swivel black to minimize the look up there. I want to keep it shadowed out a little bit. Um, so key component is the bearing snap swivel. The next thing is the weight. And you could utilize any drop shot style weight from a ball weight to a long pencil weight or the teardrop weights like I have here. I really like the teardrop shape. But the main thing you need to get in this drop shot weight is that closed round eye on the top, right? So not the kind where your line snaps in, the cinch style closure, but a closed round eye on the drop shot weight. Next component is the hook. And the absolute perfect hook for this, I'm not kidding you, is the VMC Finesse Nico hook. A VMC Finesse Nico hook. And I carry them in a few sizes from a number two all the way up to a one aught, depending on the size of the bait. Um, and that hook is perfect because if you look at the shape, it's, um, it's not a straight shank, it's not an offset sit somewhere in the middle, but the real key to it is it's got this bait keeper right on the shank of the hook, and that's going to help keep that, that hook in place in the body of the bait. Um, next component you're going to need, and you already have this laying around, is you need some braid. You need some 15 to 30 pound braided line. Uh, I, I really like the 20 pound test braid for this one. Um, uh, Braid color doesn't matter because it's going to be hidden in the bait. Uh, but 20-pound braid. And then last but not least is the bait. And 
this technique is really the best with straight tail style worms, soft stick bait, something that's straight. But this is the Berkeley Power Bait Flute Worm, and it's a killer for this eel rig technique. I like it in both sizes. Of course, the 5'7 is that bigger one, and then we've got the 4'7 um, works just as good. And it's got a few features on it that make it a great worm for this eel rig. Okay, so components, super easy. Now let's go ahead and build one. I'm going to show you how to create one. Um, first thing, we're going to start with that ball bearing snap swivel. Okay, that ball bearing snap swivel. And I've got it opened up. First thing I want to do is I want to add my drop shot weight. So I'm going to take my little teardrop weight. I think this is a 3 sixteenths. It's a real good size for this rig. And I'm going to put it on that cross snap, that uh, crankbait style snap. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and lock that weight in. And again, real nice thing about this is I can change it pretty easily on the fly. And now I'm going to get my braid. I'm going to get my 20-pound uh, braided line. And I'm going to tie a palomer knot straight to the crotch of that snap swivel, okay? Right where that big open gap is, I'm going to do a polymer knot and get a nice little knot tied in there, okay? So on the polymer knot, I'm going to double my line. I'm going to go right through the wide part of that snap, and I'm going to make an overhand loop. That's all I'm doing. Look at that. An overhand loop. When I do that, I've got that loose tag end, and that's got a loop on it now. And I'm going to pull that whole rig, weight, and snap, and everything, straight through. I'm going to wet it. I'm going to cinch it down. Okay? So now I've got my braid on our sna barrel snap with that drop shot weight on there. And I'm going to just cut that tag end and trim it real nice, pretty close to the nut. Let me get rid of that long tag end. Okay. All right, now we've got that tied on our braid. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I want to measure out the amount of braid that I'm going to need for this eel rig. And all I'm going to do is pick, get the bait, pick the size of the bait I'm going to use. Uh, for this one, let's go ahead and use a, a 5.7 power bait flute worm. And I'm going to measure it up. And I'm going to stick basically the right where we just tied that knot, right where that crust of that swivel, that uh, crotch of that swivel is at, I'm going to measure it with the head of the worm, and I want to take that braid, and I want to measure it to where I want my hook to come out on this straight-tailed worm or stick worm. And basically, I want it behind, just behind the halfway point of the bait. The nice thing on the flute worm, if you look at it, we've got these little high spots, high ridges. We've got three of them on the bait, and it it provides a marker uh, that's real easy to rig. And I'm going to take that braid and I'm going to mark it with that middle high spot, but then I'm going to take it back just about another inch because I want a little extra room to play with when I tie this next knot, okay? So I've got my length measured plus a little bit, plus about an inch to help me tie this knot. And then I'm going to cut the braid, okay? So now we've got a length of 20 on that swivel, snap swivel with the uh, uh, weight attached to it. And then finally I'm going to add my hook to that open part of the braid. Um, for this knot, you could use a palomer, but for this knot, I prefer to snell this knot on the hook. And the reason I snell it on the eel rig is it seems like you get a little bit better hookup percentage when you snell it. So, on the snell, I'm going to put that VMC Nico hook in the down facing position, bend down, and I'm going to go through the eye of the hook. I'm going to thread it through the eye of the hook. When I do that, I'm going to bring that slack end back, and I'm going to parallel it or lay it along the body uh, of the hook. I'm going to lay it flat 
uh, right against the body of that hook. And then I'm going to take that tag in and I'm going to loop it around the shank of the hook above that little fluorocarbon bait keeper. I'm going to do it about five or six times. Okay? And now we've got a tag in and a loop. I'm going to bring that tag in through the loop. And when I grab that tag in, start pulling it down, I want to wet it as well. I want to get that wet. Got my tag in. I'm going to wet it down a little bit. And as I cinch it, the main thing is I want to make sure when I cinch it, it cinches above that little piece of fluorocarb. Okay? Cinch it down. Same thing, I'm going to cut that little tag in, you know, the knot. And there we go. We've got the meat of the eel rig right here. We've got the meat of it. The last thing we need to do now is rig this on the worm. And this is a really cool rigging method. Once again, this is the 5-7. You can do it with smaller worms, bigger worms. And I'm going to actually thread that VMC Nico hook completely through the worm. And remember what I said about marking it. So I know that I've marked it just below the halfway point. And the neat thing about that flute worm is it's already marked with that high spot. So I'm going to go in the body. I'm going to start that hook going. And instead of popping it out, watch this. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to continue. Look at it. Look at me threading that all the way through to that, that middle high spot. And here you go. Now the worm looks like that. It's kind of kinked. But I'm going to continue to push and thread it. Now watch this. Look at it. So that braided line, as you pull it, look at this. The braided line is actually being embedded in the bait. So there's what your, there's what your end looks like. And now when you're done with this thing, you're going to want to position that hook. Here's that hook. Here's the braid. You're going to want to position that hook so that it keeps the bait straight, okay? So that hook's out. Push it back in the body a little bit. I'm going to pull it straight. And there's the finished product. The weight, the snap that's butted up to the head of the bait, and the hook that's really far back in the body. And it lets that weight Free, move, slide around. It's got a swivel, so it turns 360, so there's no line twist. When it hits the bottom, it's going to hit nose down like a Nico rig, but then the bait's going to fall, and as you drag it, that bait's going to be off the bottom, sliding in the back. Um, this, is, this is the eel rig, and it's so simple to make. All right, so let's take a look at this thing in the tank, and the two things I want you to focus on is that initial drop, you're going to see that bait nose down, boom, it's going to hit the bottom, a little bit of smoke, a little bit of debris, the worm's going to flatten it out, and then once it flattens out in the bottom, we're going to drag and shake, drag and shake, and I want you to watch how that weighting system lets that bait eel along in the back. The other great thing about this is look how far back that hook is. Look how far back in the body of the bait that hook is. Great for short striking fish. And the pull point, the pull point when you set the hook, isn't at the hook, it's at the nose. It's over here. So you're not going to rip the bait. You're going to get a more positive hook set, okay? So here we go. Now watch this thing as it falls. Watch that initial fall, how it falls like a Nico rig or a chicken rig straight to the bottom. Look at that, tail up, okay? So I'm going I'm to show you that initial fall again. Boom. Okay, nose down, tail, look at that tail sticking up. But then it settles, right? Boom. Tail up, then it settles. So you get that initial fall, watch it, watch it, settling, okay? And then once that bait settles, I want to drag and shake. And look at that worm, how it eels across the bottom. Look at that. That weight, oh, there's a good look at it right there. That weight, as you drag and shake, is creating a disturbance on the bottom. It's kicking up that dust. It's going across them weeds. Look at it, rise across those weeds. Look at it. 
There it goes. Settles. You drag and shake. And the weight helps to keep it just about half an inch, a quarter of an inch off the bottom. And again, the beauty of that thing is when those fish bite it, and a lot of times they're tentative, they bite it toward the back of the bait. That hook is like a stinger really far back. Um, it's 20 pound braid. You're never going to lose them. It gets them every time. Once again, look at it. Boom. Nose down, tail up. When that worm settles out, there it goes, it settles out, and you start that dragging and shaking. Look at how it eels across the bottom. Look at it eeling across the bottom. Look at that thing. Staying just off the bottom. And that is the eel rig. Hybrid, cross between a Nico rig and a chicken rig. Give it a try if the fish are short striking. If you want something that stays just a little bit off the bottom, give this thing a try. It's the eel rig. Why you're here, you really like these in the shop videos, take a second, hit that subscribe button down there. We're going to be getting new shop videos to you every week. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. Good luck and good fishing.